Um, this is to Dr. Lyons. Uh, in recognition of her outstanding work on behalf of the welfare of the Burmese breed, we are very proud to uh, provide this to you, the National Alliance of Burmese Breeders, with this wonderful little gift. Thank oh, you so thank much. Thank you. That is. <laughs> thank you. That's that's really cool, but what I want I I need to invite uh, Dr. Um, Gandolfi up, please. All right, you've, yeah. you've, we've had Dr. Gandolfi come up. Yeah. All right. We we might have to fight. You get the base, I get the yeah. cat, or you know, or or, or we switch them around. Um, yeah, this has been uh, 20 years of my life. The first grant I ever wrote was for the Burmese to um, win foundation. And that actually came through Sue Vandervoort at Colorado. She's the one that sent it to the NCI, to Steve O'Brien, and Steve handed it to me and said, can we do something with this? And you guys were just ahead of your time. So part of it, it took so long because we didn't even have genetic markers at the time. You, were got, you and the Havana Browns were the first to have any microsatellites run on you anything like that and so as resources progressed um, you guys were always at the front of having those resources tested on your cats but I must say there was a couple breeders that really stuck with us the whole time I don't know if they want me to say their name but without them uh, this project could not have been done uh, without some large financial support over the years you know there was times where I was embarrassed and didn't want to go back to the Wynn Foundation because I felt like we hadn't made enough progress uh, but people made donations anyhow. That has really helped the lab. But my favorite day ever is, you know, someday in, it was in February and I was getting these invitations to speak in Birmingham and at the World Cat Congress and the, at the FIFA Judges Seminar and then in Australia and it's like, I can't go face these Burmese breeders anymore without saying we have the mutation. I'm just too embarrassed to do it. And uh, the lab gang, including Barbara Gandolfi here, uh, convinced me to run more of the Burmese cats on the new DNA arrays. And I said, oh, please, you guys, um, would somebody look at the Burmese stuff and the Burmese data that we had. And so it was March 29th, 9.56 AM. I'm sitting in my office with Niels Peterson, and we're fighting over money. Right, and Barbara comes in. To, can you reenact your? Yeah, I, heard. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even talk because I thought, oh gosh, it's the day. <laughs> I wish I could have found it a week earlier. It was Leslie's birthday. We did our best. We, could have, we didn't meet the deadline, but um, we found the mutation. I couldn't believe it. I had to. It was like drag her. I couldn't even talk. Come down to the lab. <laughs> Can't believe it. It's there. And, um, and I didn't, I'm like, what are you talking about? You're, <laughs> you're not working on Burmese. And it's like, we secretly did it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, with the gang, we work in the night, during the night, yeah. after some ping pong session. Ping pong, after, after ping, ping, ping pong. pong. <laughs> after ping we pong. will go at 10 o'clock, secretly work, because not to give too much hope. We wanted just the mutation and give the yeah. right news. We thought we were actually close to the, to the end with a nice candidate gene, and that's why we so secretly right. Right. worked. Yeah. The night. So yeah, you look at this candidate gene in humans, and you put fur on their little face, and it looks just like, uh, the, um, like the Burmese. But with, with the work we had done earlier with um, Carolyn Urban, who had been in my lab, we had localized it to a specific chromosome, but we didn't realize how big the region was. So we thought it was a smaller region and we were looking at this region and unfortunately that chromosome has a whole bunch of genes that are involved with facial development. So we've been looking at facial development genes this whole time, things called sonic hedgehogs and hawks and stuff. And then from Barbara's work, we were able to see, oh, it's this big. And by the way, there's this cool gene down here and look at this picture of humans. And so they secretly, we, even without, uh, you know, they ordered PCR primers <laughs> behind my back and, um, and with using other account numbers and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> so I didn't know what they were doing. But. Um, Leslie, if we're going to start this part of the meeting, 
We've got a roll. We've got some additional people from other breeds that would like to join us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, but thank Barbara. Yeah.